Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Exploring the Blockchain. I am your host, Polly, and this is the Mad Mercav Finance episode. Today, we're actually going to be taking a deep dive into a specific DEX on the Kronos chain called Mad Mercat Finance. This is one of the largest DEX ecosystems I have ever seen. It is comparable to PancakeSwap at this point. So what do we got here? We got 89.8 million total value locked, 17.7 million circulating market cap. We got 300 million circulating supply, 17.3 billion total tr volume traded. This is an extremely large ecosystem and they're constantly growing and constantly coming out with new projects. As you can tell, their ecosystem is very vast and we'll be taking a dive right into it. So where do we start? We start with Madbucks. What is Madbucks? It is a token that is used to, um, <clears throat> it's a utility token for their NFT collection. So what kinds of NFTs do they have? As you can tell by the trailer here, they have Mad Mercats. They just came out with a new DGen uh, series, which is actually available in the marketplaces. And you can see here that you can actually go over to OpenSea and do Genesis MMB, or you can go get Crow Mat, or you can go get Mad Mercats for Crow. But you can also go over to OpenSea. Uh, as you can see, they also have tree houses here that you can buy. Pretty wicked. Pretty wicked. Look at these. They're pretty cool. And the floor price is 6,600 crow. So we go back to Madbucks. And then you see their DGen Mad Mercat collection. These are sweet, guys, with a floor price of 3,200 crow. Wow. Look at these. But what else does Mad Mercat do other than just NFTs and provide swaps and all that kind of stuff? They actually have a nice little exchange that provides a whole bunch of different tokens, as you can tell here. And then you, they also provide liquidity as well. You can add your liquidity for the earn tabs like the farms or the pools on other sites. You also have the option for limit tokens for limit orders and these limit orders don't just expand to the mad mercat ecosystem they go much farther than that they actually go into other ecosystems as well and take the tokens from there but what else do we got on mad mercat finance we got the stable swap so you can actually take your stable coins and swap them for pretty close to one to one ratio with the lowest rate of slippage actually through their stable swap and if you want to farm and provide liquidity in this stable swap platform you just go over to the 3mm platform and you can just provide even just one of these tokens and you'll get 3m in uh, return for it or it's supposed to show up but it's just not right now but you can also provide liquidity for their actual full out 4M pool, which is going to be giving you a bon. That one doesn't give you a bonus. But if you provide certain tokens, then it will give you a bonus, like 0.08% bonus included. So as you can tell, you can also create a pool if you're a dev. This involves DAI, USDC, and USDT, and then your own token. Well... Then we get over to their actual borrowing platform. And this is pretty crazy, guys, because they introduced leverage yield farming for the tokens. So you go over to Tectonic, you go deposit USDC, and then you go over here and you can actually do a leverage on your yield farming of 10x. And this is basically like a degen box kind of strategy that's going to happen here. But then you're going to have to repay it, so don't forget that. But these mad... The Mad Bucks right here, the MUSD, that stuff is worth one to one with USDC pretty much. So you're going to get really good yields when you actually do these kinds of pools and everything. We go over into their actual money market, which was released through one of their launch pads, and you can actually supply Crow, BTC, ETH, USDC, USDT, MMF, SVN, or B Crow and then pull them out but look at the apys on those those are insane apys but you also got to keep in mind that you're you're gonna pay a lot from borrowing too as well just don't forget that when you're when you're actually borrowing but they also released the agora 
marketplace, which allows more kinds of independent creators to publish their works and try and get W Crow for them. As you can tell, look at that. 100 Crow. There is 450 Crow. People are constantly trying to make NFTs and trying to sell them here. And it's pretty cool, honestly. It's really cool. Because anybody can create an NFT and launch it on here and sell it. It's pretty awesome. That is pretty dang awesome. So we go over into one of the more intricate parts of the MMF ecosystem. This is called Sahara DAO, okay? So this is a fractional algorithmic synthetic token pegged to the value of one MMF and one MUSD on Kronos chain. It is very hard to explain this, but basically um, they're synthetics. They're synthetics, so you end up going to deposit one MMF and you'll get 0.997 MMFX or one MUSD for 0.997 MUSD. But then you would go over and redeem these after when you're done with them and you get your collateral ratio as well as the mongoose token. But then you want to go over to the farms because this is where you get those sweet APRs and you can just zap right into them. And what a zapper is, is basically it lets you go right into an LP pool. So you'll only need one of these tokens and then the native network gas token, Crow here. But we go over into the staking and this is where I would really place my bets. Where you just go stake your mongoose. You then go lock up your mongoose and then you're going to get MMF and mongoose tokens and MUSD in return. You're going to get the protocol fees, which is pretty wicked. But we like the tomb forks here and we go over into the home of Savannah Finance. And as you can tell, we go into the desert, the have the regular old farms where you stake your M share MMF LP and you earn M share or you stake your SVN MMF LP and you earn M share. And now they added a new one M share SVN LP where you also earn M share. These are really wicked options guys. And then you'd go over into the Oasis with the M shares that you earned from those farms and I wish the APRs would load, but they just don't want to at the moment when you have as many tabs as I do open. So if you're going to be going through this, go through it with one tab at a time, one internet tab. But don't, but it sometimes just doesn't want to load. But last time when I saw this, it was 1700%. But what would you do with these SVN tokens if they actually go underneath the peg? You'd go purchase some M bonds and the M bonds redeem for more SVN. The, but that's not just the only tomb fork that has come out on MMF. There's also been Hakuna Matata, which has the APR of 784.54% and a daily APR of 2.15%. As you can tell, these tomb forks are pretty great and you just gotta be able to be a little bit patient with them, to be quite honest but they usually work out for the better. And then again, it has the same kinds of bonding features as Savannah Finance does, but you gotta watch out with the MMF ecosystem sometimes with the launch pads like Serval Finance or Scrub Finance. Scrub Finance switched their peg from SVN and MShare, but now it's USDC and WBTC, but this was one of those projects that was close to a rug. These used to be worth like, eighty ninety thousand dollars same with tiger but they just literally went down so bad they got wrecked all the people that invested in savannah finance i mean not in savannah scrub finance got wrecked everyone in savannah is still good but then you go over to pegasus dollar which is another tomb fork that they released from MMF and this one's actually pegged to the value of Met F which we will get into which is another great token on the MMF ecosystem and as you can tell here they have their own launch pad a lottery and an NFT market and look at these pegas guys these are sweet these pegas are sweet they are just sweet I, I want one honestly <laughs> if someone wants to gift me one they are more than welcome to but 
we go into MetF, and this is really interesting. It is a decentralized exchange traded fund. So this is an ETF, but on a decentralized exchange in the decentral network, decentralized network through MMF, and it's tracking the MMF ecosystem. But this is has rebasing rewards, which are really, really wicked. But as you can see here, this farm has been depreciated and is no longer paying out rewards. Unfortunate, but it used to. It used to. And as you can tell, there's $4 backing per Met F, and it's at 4.472. It used to be over $100. This is like a 100x coin. I'm telling you guys, the MMF ecosystem is great, and none of this that I am telling you today is financial advice. Just make sure you keep that in mind. None of it is financial advice, but we go over to the Mad Mercat Bridge, and I found this pretty fascinating because you actually can transfer M shares over to pretty much any net, over to the Phantom or over to the Avalanche Network, which means MMF is actually expanding out into other chains like Avalanche and Phantom, which is really great for the health of the ecosystem. But when you're done with farming your rewards and everything you can go over to the vaults and get yourself some mmo and stake it and earn w crow or you can go stake mmf and you got these three single options but then you got the really wicked ones like the actual liquidity pools and everything which have apys going into the th 20 000 percentiles guys that's insane that's freaking insane 20 000 percentiles and then you got a lot well these build you two tokens so they're just freaking great or they build you lp tokens which is also really good but if you really want to gamble your way on crypto then you can go to croissant games from mmf and you can do the coin toss or you can go do the crow roll or you can go do the dice roll and then eventually they're even going to have roulette. But they also have staking on this as well. Again, guys, the MMF ecosystem is constantly growing. And there's just so many options to go with on it. I highly advise everyone to check it out and to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this one. And again, remember, none of this is financial advice. And peace out.